Hi, everybody. My name is Ashwin Rao. I'm a long-term contributor to the SHU Forum, and I'm trying something new out today. I was able to take some of my photographic skills and try to transfer them into some video capture. So I hope you enjoy this bit of a virtual unboxing um, of a company that I've been really interested in. And so most of my, most of my posts really have focused on uh, classic menswear and um, welted shoes. Um, and my tastes have recently broadened and I've become more and more interested in boots and specifically workwear style or casual boots um, that can be used both in day-to-day -day life as well as work from home. And honestly, also really a cool opportunity to get out into the world and wear them even at, uh, at work. Um, and so there's a number of companies that have really struck my fancy. I've posted photos of a number of Indonesian boot makers, uh, producers like Underhood or um, Renav Goods, Profess, Prof Barnett's, um, you know, Benzian, there's a number of different manufacturers, Textures, another really innovative company. But when I started diving into boots a little bit more deeply, I started hearing more and more about this manufacturer, this solo boot maker who worked with family members in rural China, somewhere outside of the main cities, uh, um, outside of Beijing, I believe. Um, and uh, it's a gentleman whose Instagram handle is Flame Panda. So, and when I hear the word Flame Panda, I'm like, really? Legit? Really? That's a good boot maker? But truth be told, um, Peng, who is uh, the person behind Flame Panda, has a really unique story that's actually really powerful. Uh, I, if you ever get into boots, you should check out a few different websites. There's one called Stitchdown and another one called um, Almost Vintage Wear. And so, uh, Jake from Almost Vintage Style uh, interviewed uh, Flame Panda, that's Peng, and a uh, fascinating story that I would love to learn more about. But about six months ago, I actually discovered Flame Panda through some of the podcasts that are put out by Ben and uh, Patrick from Stitch Down. And uh, uh, in their top five boots uh, to own at that time, uh, they listed Flame Panda amongst one of the top options that they would choose. So I was like, Flame Panda, it's not Alden, not Viberg, not some of the other companies you would think might make that list, um, but an individual named Flame Panda. And so I went over to Instagram, took a look at the photos, and I was kind of blown away, honestly. And so I decided to take the dive. I contacted Peng, um, went in through the DMs of Instagram, sent him a message. Um, he replied rather rapidly, and I sent him a couple thoughts on options that I wanted. And uh, I settled on a design called the Mock Toe Boot, which is probably his most uh, well-known and famous design. There are many types of Mock Toe Boots. Uh, the one that's probably most famous, even though it's not a true Mock Toe, I believe, is uh, uh, the Alden Indie boot, but Red Wing makes a mock toe boot. There's a number of companies who make mock toe boots. Um, and uh, certainly uh, there are a number of people out there who feel that Flame Panda makes the best mock toe boot. And so I had to take a look and dive in myself. Um, initially when we communicated, Peng, who's actually quite conversant and speaks quite eloquently, suggested that the production time would be about three to four months um, in the neighborhood of 120 days. And it took a little longer than that, it took about five months, five and a half months, uh, but the outcome was well worth it. He was very communicative through the process and uh, very gracious and generous. And so um, just a few days ago, I got this box here, uh, rather large, hefty box of um, full of boot. And so the first thing he did was he messaged me and said, hey, he was sorry that this took a little longer than he would have met, um, intended. He... Um, was in the process of moving studios. And so um, along in the boot, so I'm kind of opening things up here, uh, arrived this little gift of a uh, leather um, piece of craftsmanship that is really beautiful actually. So I'm kind of putting it out there for you guys to take a look. Um, really nicely stitched and put together, just a little curio um, that has a little button and you can kind of pull it off and, um, and take a look. But you know, that's not the star of the show. The star of the show is the boots, but these are really beautiful. Um, just a really nice little kind of 
nice something to you know stick your passport or stick um, some basic uh, information things in or give to a partner who is supporting you in your boot game. Very cool. So, anyways, um, in the boot, I'm gonna sort of show you here. Um, was a bag that has the name Goo Boots on it. I, I don't really know what Goo Boots are, but I imagine it's some Chinese branding. Um, and then really nicely included were a number of laces that were provided as optionals, um, three or four different styles of laces that were included in these Flame Panda boots. And so I opened up, here it is, here's the bag. I'm really kind of doing this in person. There's the Goo Boots. Uh, logo and a really nice canvas bag here. Um, and so upon taking out this boot, um, you see that the bags are wrapped yet again in another uh, cloth receptacle, really designed for shipping more than anything else. And here's the big reveal. Ta -da. There it is. Some of you guys have seen the boot. And there it is. Um, I have the other boot here, but I'm gonna put that aside for the moment just to kind of focus in on our flame panda boot. So um, I'm very excited about this boot. Let's kind of give this center attention here so you guys can see what this boot is all about. So um, I have yet to wear the boot, um, but it is really stitched rather immaculately, it has a block heel. Um, I'm going to try to show this here. Um, you can see that double road stitching construction, which is called Veltuen construction. Some people call it stitch down. There's actually a really fascinating uh, discussion regarding the differences between Veltuen and stitch down constructions. Um, and then right in dead front, this here is the mock toe, like a moccasin toe, basically. Um, the laces that were put onto the boot are these kind of nice, rich, kind of, um, you know, reddish laces. Uh, we're talking about nice uh, brass eyelets. You know, you can see those brass eyelets there. They're not right in focus. I gotta get my face out of the way as I figure all this out. Um, and then one of the things that I've really come to appreciate, and I'm not sure if I can show this as well as I'd like, but these lovely, lovely souls, um, these, are Dr. Souls, which are a company that's been emerging in the uh, bootwear and shoewear market as a real player and an alternative to Vibram um, Souls, for example, Daynight Souls, Dr. Souls. Um, this is their raw cord uh, full sole um, and uh, is being used by a number of manufacturers overseas, including Flame Panda and uh, some of the Indonesian boot makers. So, Anyways, I wanted to give you a sense for this boot. Um, as you can really see, the stitching here is rather immaculate. I mean, you can see that there's very few, if any, errors. I really couldn't see any. Um, and when I take a look here just a little closer, you can see that there's very even, kind of consistent uh, stitching. Some of the boot makers from Octos have wider um, stitch intervals uh, in terms of sort of how the design is, but Peng's design is very tightly and nicely stitched. Um, when I look at the leather, this is a horse hide, uh, kind of a rich dark brown horse hide and really no loose grain. This is really top quality leather from what I can see. Uh, the stitch down, uh, which is, as I mentioned, the stitching that helps uh, attach the upper to the sole. Um, which is one of my favorite styles for certainly for boots uh, is rather nice. And I actually really appreciated the contrast stitching that was done to kind of bring some highlight to the work that he's doing here. It's a hefty boot. Um, this is not a boot that you would think um, you would wear freely on your feet and feet in the summer or something like that. This is sort of meant to be a bit of a butt kicker. Um, and I think it's a really nice option there for, um, for people who are interested in that style. So Flame Panda, um, brass eyelets all the way up along with, so five brass eyelets and then three, um, as you can kind of see here, three uh, uh, speed hooks, which are used to help speed up the process of lacing up your um, boots, uh, you know, the, the eyelets in this case go up to sort of mid, lower to mid ankle when you put the boots on and then you can rapidly kind of twist the um, 
laces upon the eyelets here, or sorry, upon the uh, speed hooks here, and it gives you a nice, uh, nice way to kind of lace up nicely and tightly and give you a little bit more of a form fit. Mm -hmm. So um, Flame Panda, um, mock toe boots, possibly the nicest boots in the world. I mean, I think people can make that argument. There's a number of other companies, some in Japan, there's a um, clinch boots, there's a uh, John Lofgren, who has come upon some controversy, but um, also really nice boot makers. There's, uh, there's a number of different manufacturers who can lay the claim for being the best boot maker or sort of independent boots maker in the world. Uh, you know, certainly in the US and Canada, Viberg has a market share corner because of high quality leathers, popular lasts, and that stitch down construction for many of their boots. But if you're willing to venture into Instagram, and take a look a little bit more uh, closely at your other options, you may come across boot makers such as Flame Panda, uh, Ustmo Boots, which is uh, the brainchild of Lars um, in Norway, another fantastic boot maker. So I mean, I could certainly get into boots and talk more uh, as we go on, but I wanted to start this video journey by sharing you a little bit of information about what I think is one of the nicest boots out there. And as you are seeing, here we go again. Flame Panda mock toe boots, dark brown horse hide, stitched down construction, Dr. Soul's raw cord sole. Uh, you got a thick midsole here. It's a double midsole with a little bit of a taper. The whole design comes together really nice. And as I mentioned, five eyelets, all brass eyelets with uh, a little bit of a uh, speed hook action up at the top. Really nice heel stitching, some really nice fine detail. Um, and I just figured, why not share this with you while I enjoy the process myself? Look at that stitching. Oh yeah, real nice. Look at that detail. Take a look. I'll be taking a lot more photos of this. I've taken and posted a few photos already on my Instagram, which is the new shoe review. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that um, I wanted to share this here on the shoe forum give you a sense for what was up. And I hope you enjoy my first video take on Flame Panda. So a um, couple other sources of information, obviously we have some really incredible members here who have incredible amounts of information um, to share. Uh, guys like David Levin, David Rogers, uh, Alberto Asagera, uh, Jesse, uh, Garen Stroom, all, all, so many people with a lot of information, not a, lot, a lot of knowledge and a willingness to share. Um, I'm really just getting started. I've been into shoes and boots like this for probably the past year and a half. So I'm early in my journey and it's a deep and dive, deep uh, rabbit hole when you kind of dive into it. But uh, you know, I think the key is to focus on what you're really interested in and then let your usage patterns broaden and figure out how many boots your um, family can tolerate, you know, what style and what shoe, how you want to integrate that into your shoes, you know, what's your work look like, what does your recreation look like, are you a city person, are you an outdoors person, um, and then kind of helps dictate your choices. Um, some people are in it just for the artistry. Um, some people are in it for the utilization. These are great because they're really both. They're the best of both worlds. They're imm immaculately, impeccably built, but they're also really, really um, functional, useful. Um, while they're pieces of art and um, all that, they're really also um, really cool as uh, you usable workwear that you can just take and uh, deal with the elements and deal with life in general and impress those around you while you're at it. So, all right, I think I am gonna stop there and hope you guys are all well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.